Hey guys, now I want to show you some of my favorite books for little babies. So first we have a few books that are all cloth. Um, these are perfect for those who are still chewing on their books or just want to feel different textures. They're very soft. This is our Hushabye Owl and we also have a Hushabye Bunny. He's asleep on one side and awake on the other. His little wings are a little kind of crinkly. His feet are more textured. And then inside there's a cute little rhyming poem inside that you can read to your baby. Super sweet. And then we also have our Hello Baby series. I believe there's four of these. And this one is the colors one. So inside it just says like, hello, yellow duck, hello, green frog, blue whale, red parrot, and so on. It's just really soft and squishy. And then it has this cute little handle on, on the outside. And then next we have our That's Not My Books. If you have heard of Us Born, you've probably heard of these. We have about 35 or different, um, 40 different ones. This is That's Not My Dragon. There are touchy-feely patches on every page. The pictures are outlined in black, which will help your baby's eye muscles develop. That contrast um, is good for their eyes. It says, that's not my dragon. His spots are too slimy. That's not my dragon. His claws are too knobbly. And then at the end, it says, that's my dragon. His wings are so scaly. There's this cute little mouse on every page. And so these books are just really fun for babies and toddlers even. I love our That's Not My Books. And then we have our tummy time books. This is one, two, three counting. We also have on the farm, under the sea, things that go, and um, a Christmas one. Those other ones have a little more color, but this one's mostly black and white. It counts all the way to 10. You can fold it out in front of your baby like this, or you can lay it down while they're doing tummy time, or you can close it and just read it like a book. Um, and so I really love these books. They're really great for babies. Another book that I really like is this Panda in the Park. It has these little cutouts on every page so you can see through to the next page. It's a, just a cute little story. Panda is playing hide and seek. Who's hiding in there? You have to look through the cutout to, and guess who it is and then turn the page and see it says, I see you, giraffe, and then who's hiding down there? And so you have to look again. Just a really cute, fun book um, for babies and toddlers. Next, we have our slide and see books. We have about five of these. This is animals. We also have um, on the farm, at the zoo, um, under the sea, a dinosaur one, and, and then this animal one. So you can slide um, something on every page. My daughter loves to play peekaboo with this monkey. It's really good for their hand-eye coordination to start moving these on their own with their fingers. They love the bright colors. The pages on these are like really thick and durable. Um, I mean, there's no way that they can mess up these pages. They're just super fun and cute, and so I really love our slide and see books. Next, we have our baby's very first playbooks. This is the very first touchy-feely animal playbook. This is the colors playbook. This one has a few little flaps inside of it. The animal one doesn't have flaps, um, if you're worried about that. But these are just really fun. There's touchy-feely patches on all the pages. It's great to teach your baby the colors, different animals. There's little... Um, cutouts in the pages, little finger trails they can follow. Just really, really great for your babies. And then next we have um, this new series of books. This is Garden Sounds. We also have Jungle Sounds, a uh, very first book about the orchestra and nursery rhymes. I believe this one's out of stock for a while, but I just still wanted to show it to you to get an idea what the others are like. So they have these little buttons here that play noises. And then you can, as you go through the book, there's a little story. Um, there's, again, the little peek inside hole cutouts. There's finger trails. And then the little buttons with the sounds again. Very fun for your babies to hear those sounds and look at all the pictures. We also have lots of other noisy books. This is a noisy orchestra. And then, so this is kind of a bigger book. We have lots of noisy books like this. And then we have um, like baby's very first noisy books, very first uh, nursery rhymes, jungle sounds, things like that. And so those are super fun for babies as well. My daughter loves the sound books. And then last one is this, is, that's not my height chart and book. Kind of goes along with the that's not my books. Um, it comes in this little box with a nice little lid you can take out. This book is inside, and it's just um, telling your child about who's taller and who's shorter. Frog is taller than mouse, but shorter than duck. Meerkat is taller than duck, but shorter than fox. With all the characters from the That's Not My books. And then at the end, 
this um, folds up and you can see that the giraffe is tallest of them all. And then going along with it, it has this um, really awesome growth chart that you can hang on the wall. It's really tall, super cute. And then it comes with a bunch of stickers that you can hang with it to label your child's height as they grow. And so it's really fun and cute. And um, so those are my favorite books for babies. Thanks.